Hey guys, Mr. Clark here. Today, let's draw Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas is a cheeky little train, but he works hard and always strives to be a really useful engine. Let's get started right here in the middle of our paper so we can fit in our whole drawing. First, let's draw a big circle for Thomas's face. Now inside that big circle, let's draw two smaller circles for his eyes. Now inside each eye, let's draw a new smaller circle, which will be his pupils. Thomas's eyes are black, but we always remember to leave a little sparkle in his eyes. So I'll color in his eyes except for the small sparkle near the top. Good. Now Thomas has little eyebrows that look like triangles. I'll draw one triangle over each eye. Now draw a U-shaped nose right in the middle of his face. And right under that nose, he's got a big smile. <laughs> draw some roundness under his smiling cheeks. Next, let's draw Thomas's smokestack above his head. Draw two lines up from the top of his head and connect them. This is where Thomas blows off steam. Nice. Now, let's draw his cab. This is where the conductor sits. About halfway up behind the smokestack, we'll draw the roof of the cab, slightly rounded. The cab has a boxy shape. So draw the sides coming down from the corners and bumping out. As we continue, the train gets wider near the base. Four bump outs on each side with a big bump out here at the footboards. Now connect the sides with the bottom of the tank. Good. Now we're looking at Thomas directly from the head end, so we only see two of his front rail wheels. These wheels keep Thomas snug on the track when he's chugging around turns. Good. Now draw the undercarriage connecting the wheels. Now let's finish the cab and the footboards. For each bump out on either side of the cab, draw a smooth line connecting the two sides. Thomas has two big circular buffer beams in the front, just above the wheels. Now I'll draw two lines from the bottom of Thomas's face coming down and connecting to the footboards. This looks a bit like a neck, doesn't it? On the next bump out level near the left side, Thomas has a big light. So draw it attached to the footboard and draw the circle lamp. This light helps Thomas see where he's going when he's delivering important packages overnight. Good. Connect the next bump out level behind the light with a line going across and stopping at the neck on both sides. So now I'll box off the last two bump outs with lines going across and stopping at the neck as well. Nice. Now we're almost done. This is looking really good. Let's not forget the cab windows. And these are circles too. Now finish Thomas with some details to his cabin and let's add some tools to his footboards. All right, we drew Thomas the tank engine. Okay, we're finished drawing. Now let's add some color. I'm gonna use these cool Crayola Twistables color pencils. The colors I'll be using is a nice blue for his cab, a red for his footboards, and a yellow for his cab windows. Have some fun and use some colors that you'd like to use. Okay, are you ready? All right, let's color.
yeah, we did it! Great job. We colored Thomas the Tank Engine. Now, let's illustrate him. I'll show you how. Join me in the next video to learn how to illustrate Thomas the Tank Engine. And be sure to check out our entire Thomas and Friends playlist. Hope you had fun, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.